Holy Ghost quickening your physical body makes it become younger the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrot thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us well tonight I'm going to touch on the subject of youth renewal I've spoken on this many 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 times say many 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 times is that good yes. yeah because you need we faith comes by hearing and hearing and well frankly there's not a lot of people preaching on youth renewal even though as I'm going to show you that it is one of the main parts of what God does mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. say to me to me well we need to keep these things before your eyes mm -hmm. and in your ears mm -hmm. now if you just study on one thing all the time you have that well you might have great faith for that one thing whether it be healing or prosperity or you know dying and going to heaven all of which are good but a message on prosperity isn't going to necessarily renew your youth you need to have hearing of the word on youth renewal that has the power of youth renewal in it so if you listen to a message on youth renewal what's the effect gonna be youth renewal you just keep these things before your eyes mm -hmm. and like the proverb says in the midst of your heart mm -hmm. for their life to those that find them and health to all their flesh mm -hmm. what would health be to an old piece of flesh <laughs> youth renewal you ever hear that a doctor would you know would look at somebody and they'd say you have the heart of a 20 year old even though you're like 65 I'm just bringing that up it's something in our vernacular we understand what that means right yes. well anyways youth renewal it is a promise I will show you some of those tonight it is a promise and therefore it comes from the promise who is the Holy Ghost so in the Holy Ghost is youth renewal it comes from knowing the Holy Ghost and knowing the Holy Ghost in this capacity some people may know the Holy Ghost in a certain way but they don't know him this way as one who renews your youth mm -hmm. would it be good to know the Holy Ghost as one who renews your youth yes it's something he does now a lot of people don't know it can we know it though yes. yeah should we know it yes. if it's his promise it's something he does then we should know it and we should walk in it he quickens your physical body say my physical body. physical body he quickens your physical body so that it becomes younger do you understand that's what youth renewal means mm -hmm. Holy Ghost quickening your physical body makes it become younger but you have to come to this knowledge about him the Holy Ghost and how are you gonna to come to this knowledge about him if nobody preaches on it yeah. but if I preach on it then you can come to that knowledge of him the Holy Ghost that it is something he does and you can believe for him to do it to you mm -hmm. is this good yes. he's happy about it because he can now do things that he couldn't do before say believe in, believe in youth, renewal youth renewal that comes from, comes from the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost I like to say it this way meet the Holy Ghost know the Holy Ghost and get younger get better looking how knowing him but the fact is most of you don't know him the Holy Ghost as one who renews your youth or who renews youth at all the Holy Ghost will make you better looking Amen. well all these worketh that one first Corinthians 12 11 says that all these worketh that one in self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills as he wills he wills right 
it's as he wills mm -hmm. not if he wills that's how we read that verse if he wills he might not will to no it's as he wills as he wills meaning you get to know him listen you get to know him and he will do those things that he does yes. Yes. the problem is you don't know him as one who does those things mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead who will we be talking about the Holy Ghost if the Holy Ghost that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you what's the spirit that dwells in you Holy Ghost if the Holy Ghost that raised Jesus from the dead that spirit dwells in you if he does yes. say if he does if he does. does he mm -hmm. if the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell what's dwell mean live in you meaning he's able to live if he's able to do what he wants to do not being suppressed by your stupid doctrines he shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you who is that the Holy Ghost what is he going to do if you know him and he's able to live he shall quicken say shall quicken, shall quicken. so there's a there's a way we can know and appreciate and walk with the Holy Ghost who is the Living God mm -hmm. where he shall quicken our mortal body this mortal body doesn't mean dead body are you dead no. say I'm not dead yet <laughs> but he's quickening the body that's alive your body by his spirit that lives in you dwells in you he does not dwell in dead bodies so who's he quickening live bodies that's right. say I'm a live body right I'm a live body and he quickens me well if I'm being quickened what does that quickening mean quickening means giving extra life to that which was dying slowly all age-related problems is just a measure of dying slowly so if you add life to something that's dying slowly mm -hmm. what is that called youth renewal brings it back to life say brings it back to life that which was old he brings back to life mm -hmm. first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 trust in and if you're gonna trust in him you got to know who it is right mm -hmm. trust in and know the living God mm -hmm. who gives us richly all things to enjoy he's called the living God is he the dead God no. is he the subject to death and mostly dead God no. no he's the living God and he's in you quickening you your mortal body giving you life mm -hmm. is this good yes who gives it to you Holy Ghost living God he's alive he's living well if you knew him the living God the Holy Ghost if you know him as God how should you treat him as God and you should worship him as God mm -hmm. say I worship the Holy Ghost, I worship the Holy Ghost. Who, lives in my body. who lives in my body sometimes you got to take a step of faith which takes you a little bit outside of what your doctrine is in most churches right mm -hmm. but once you know the Living God the Holy Ghost once you know him as God take that step of faith and begin worshiping him use the words I worship you Holy Ghost when you worship him and if you worship him you will get younger I wrote these words down because this is what the Holy Ghost told me to tell you if you worship him you will get younger he will quicken your mortal body that which is subject to death mm -hmm. those things that started to die slowly because of old age you understand that right mm -hmm. that's a slow death 
he quickens it if he quickens it he brings it back to life which will be back in time now if this is something he does and he's in there to quicken you if you worship him what's he gonna do he's gonna do what he do it's what he does mm -hmm. say it's what he does, it's what he does. say it's what he, does to me. it's what he does to me well I never heard that the Holy Ghost renews people's youth well welcome mm -hmm. I'm glad you made it just in time Luke chapter 4 verse 8 for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve what if you find out that the Holy Ghost is God thou shalt worship the Lord thy God a lot of people are trying to serve this God they don't know and don't worship thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou be healed be youth renewed how did I get to this place of knowing him that he's God and renews youth worshiping the Lord my God you're the temple of God you're worshiping the God that's in the temple and then he begins to be able to manifest himself as he wills and he wills to do it in youth renewal and prosperity mm -hmm. and healing and making you better looking mm -hmm. he's God he's gonna move into a body and then he wants to do all of his things it's his thing to make you better looking it's his thin thing to make you younger mm -hmm. it's his thing to prosper you worship him and he'll do it mm -hmm. well I didn't always know this but I've been given this message on youth renewal because I worship him worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve I was worshiping him and he gave me a message about him renewing people's youth therefore when I say words of youth renewal mm -hmm. I'm serving him is this making sense yes me preaching on youth renewal is serving him mm -hmm. the one that I worship you confessing youth renewal is serving him the God that's in you the one you worship mm -hmm. but I didn't always know these things but I know them now because I know him and I know him in a way that other people don't know him and they don't like it when I talk about it mm -hmm. listen if you continue to worship him he will come to you and say here I am I'm your youth renewer if you continue what worshiping him go to any church and people will casually say yes the dead in Christ will rise but they won't actively believe that dead cells will be quickened to life in their physical body right now mm -hmm. they like to casually believe it because they don't have anything to do with it it's put off into the future somewhere but they won't actively believe for cells to come back to life old age is just that cells coming to the end of their life cycle mm -hmm. if they're quickened and made alive what happens that's called youth renewal John chapter 11 verse 20 and then said Martha unto Jesus Lord if thou hadst been here my brother had not died and Jesus saith unto her thy brother shall rise again verse 24 Martha saith unto him I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day go down to verse 39 and Jesus saith, said take ye away the stone and Martha the sister of him that was dead said unto him Lord by this time he stinketh or he hath been dead four days you see where her faith was at she casually just said yes I know Lord that in the last day will be raised up mm 
so she was believing that power of god was going to raise up everybody quicken their physical dead bodies mm -hmm. but wouldn't believe which would be which would be a, a bigger miracle mm -hmm. the end day resurrection of everybody or just her brother that stinketh mm -hmm. you see how her face faith was really not faith mm -hmm. it was just casual words that she'd say verse 40 jesus said unto her said i not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see the glory of god if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see mm -hmm. she had to actively believe in order to see it mm -hmm. one was passive casual faith that really isn't faith mm -hmm. the other is active faith that believes so people like to say casually that they believe the dead will rise but they don't actively believe for their physical body or cells in their physical body to actually rise are you here mm -hmm. one is passive faith casual the other one is active faith causal say it's causal faith one frankly is a non-faith statement and the other will cause it to happen which one are you you must actively participate in god's word say i must actively, I must actively participate, participate in god's word, god's word. Man, remember jesus said if thou wouldest believe actively believe you would see the glory of god youth renewals what we're talking about you have to believe for it all the things of God are that way you believe for it. what are you believing you're believing the word on it and then you believe for it and then what do you get it mm -hmm. if you're actively believing for it it doesn't just happen what just happens old age happens right that just happens look at all the people that aren't believing for youth renewal what happens to them they get old mm -hmm. right it doesn't just happen you have to believe for it actively genesis chapter 15 verse 1 after these things the word of the lord say the word of the lord the word, of the, lord. The word now does that give abraham the opportunity to believe something yeah because it's God's Word and in God's Word is the faith and ability to bring itself to pass mm -hmm. if he believes it after these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision saying fear not Abram I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward verse 2 and Abram said lord god what will thou give me seeing i go childless now automatically abraham was not in faith abraham began saying his problem and speaking in the negative mm -hmm. do you see this mm -hmm. so his words weren't perfect it was basically opposite of what god was saying to him he goes oh what what could you do for me seeing i go childless now if abraham continued down that road what could god do for me seeing i go childless seeing i go childless mm -hmm. hello look at me i go childless is he in line with god's word no. no not at all and so time went on here by the way in fact genesis chapter 17 verse 1 and when abram was 90 years old and nine looks like time's running out when abram was 90 and nine years old the lord appeared unto abram and said unto him i'm almighty god walk before me and be thou perfect before he wasn't perfect in what he said remember that mm -hmm. how do we walk with God the Holy Ghost 
by saying words by speaking in agreement with his word if we could speak in perfectly in agreement with his word we would be walking before him and being thou perfect walk before me and be thou perfect and i will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly how's abraham going to get multiplied exceedingly by walking before god perfectly which means by speaking in agreement with what god is saying for behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be the father of many nations neither shall thy name any more be called abram but thy name shall be abraham for a father of many nations have i made thee you shall no longer call yourself this you shall call yourself that mm -hmm. stop calling yourself this call yourself that say call myself. call myself abraham in order to walk perfectly before god had to call himself something that he didn't look like he was mm -hmm. he still had no kids he was still way too old to have kids so was sarah but god said you need to call yourself the way i'm telling you to call yourself yes. thou shalt no longer be called or call thyself abram but call yourself this so that's how we walk before god perfectly right walk before me and be thou perfect which means he wasn't god wouldn't have said that if abraham was already walking before him and being thou perfect mm -hmm. he said no change this and what did he tell him to change change how you're talking about yourself say change, change. How, I'm how i'm talking about myself, about myself. that's how you walk more perfectly with god the holy ghost you can't talk about yourself contrary to the way the holy ghost says about you mm -hmm. and have your youth renewed this began to renew abraham's youth it also began genesis 17 15 god said unto abraham as for sarah thy wife thou shalt not call her name sarai but sarah shall you name her so she had to start calling herself the way god called her too mm -hmm. are you here anyway so thou shalt be called proverbs 6 verse 2 says thou art snared with the words of thy mouth Abraham was snared with the words of his mouth for several years all the way up until he was 90 and 9 and God said I got to change something about this but they Abraham changed what he said and he changed what he saw he eventually saw himself differently mm -hmm. say so he saw himself differently when you start saying that your youth is renewed you'll begin to see yourself differently mm -hmm. in light of what God has said about you what happens he begins to quicken you according to that word quicken thou me according to thy word mm -hmm. this is how abraham became the father of faith he learned how to speak in agreement with what god said he began to believe god instead of his own circumstances and what happened what did god start doing i didn't have time to read that whole story but what did god do to both abraham and sarah he renewed their youth mm -hmm. Sarah was way past childbearing years so in order for her to have a child she had to have her body renewed to the place where it could have a child mm -hmm. same way with Abraham and they became the father of our faith father and mother you could say of our faith and what was the thing they believed for youth renewal mm -hmm. if you're a hundred or you're 80 something and you have to believe God to have a baby or he said you're gonna have a baby what has to happen youth renewal mm -hmm. parts of your body that got there old and they've gone past the expiration date had to be renewed Romans chapter 10 verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith what Speaking. speaketh 
the righteousness of faith speaketh what did god tell abraham to do before he got perfect before he got walking before god perfectly he had to change what he said about himself mm -hmm. if you're going to walk with the holy ghost more perfectly you've got to change what you're saying about yourself mm -hmm. the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise number one say not stop saying that stuff just like abraham stop saying what are you gonna do for me i don't have no babies how far would, how far did he he got no far with that yeah. until he was 99 years old and god's like okay i gotta get down there and do something change the way you're talking and it wasn't but a few short periods of time after that say not that's the number one thing you guys just stop saying it well you don't look any younger don't agree with it you can start saying i'm getting younger the holy ghost is quickening my physical body i'm getting younger mm -hmm. whether you think i am or not verse eight but what saith it the righteousness of faith but what saith it the word the word is in your mouth it's in your heart this is the word of faith which we preach the righteousness of faith concerning youth renewal says the word concerning youth renewal and the end result result of that is your youth being renewed the holy ghost is my exceeding great reward and as i know him more and more i know that he quickens my physical body he heals me from all sickness and all disease and he renews my youth he also prospers me how do i know these things because i've learned about him he's my exceeding great reward does he renew youth i can show you examples what do you have time for another example mm -hmm. joshua chapter 14 verse 10 and now behold as the lord has kept me alive say the lord kept me alive, kept me alive. who kept him alive the lord. as the lord kept him alive as he said these 40 and five years even since the lord spake this word unto moses while the children of israel wandered in the wilderness and now lo i am this day fourscore and five years old 85 right yes. verse 11 as yet i am as strong this day as i was in the day that moses sent me as my strength was then even so is my strength now is that in your bible yes who did this says the lord did it mm -hmm. quickened him kept him alive and renewed his youth he's as strong as he was back when he was 40 mm -hmm. and now he's 85 mm -hmm. what happened here mm -hmm. we don't know what happened we know what happened the Lord quickened him according to his word mm -hmm. sounds like a young man thinks like the young man acts like a young man how is that yeah. same God that we serve so does he the holy ghost renew youth you have to answer these questions yes. if he renews your youth what happens you get younger if he renews your youth you're getting younger say if he renews my youth, he renews my youth. I'm, getting younger. I'm getting younger does the holy ghost renew youth yes. is he renewing your youth yes. Then you're getting younger. Say, I'm getting younger. I'm getting younger. Now, you can casually say that, or you can causally say it. He renews my youth. Abraham had to call himself the father of many nations when he had no children. You have to call yourself youth renewed when it doesn't look like it works the same way with healing works the same way with prosperity that's the righteousness which is of faith that we preach what saith it the word 
when I say the word concerning youth renewal my youth is renewed when I say the you the word concerning healing and health my health is restored and I am healed when I say the word concerning prosperity I get rich say I get rich, I get rich. say I get healed, I get healed. Say, my youth is renewed. My youth is renewed. When? Oh, when you say it, you're actively believing it instead of, well, we'll all have our youth renewed when we die and go to heaven. When you come to know that the Holy Ghost is a God who renews youth, He's the one living in you, right? Mm -hmm. What is He going to do in you, for you, and to you? renew your youth all of his promises all of the things that he says he will do that's who he is that's what he does he prospers me he renews my youth and he heals me deal with it psalms 103 verse 1 bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name now now the holy ghost uh what's the first part of his name holy holy would, would that be okay could I bless his holy name yeah mm -hmm. verse 2 bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits what would those be his benefits would be his promises he is the promise he's living in you stop forgetting them all who verse 3 who forgives all thine iniquities who heals all thy diseases say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Heals, heals all my diseases all, my diseases. all of them all of them why would he do that because he's living in you mm -hmm. he's got to live in there that's why you get better looking because he lives in there verse 4 who redeems thy life from destruction is that good yes. Yes. a lot of destruction going on out there but he's redeeming or delivering us from destruction Holy Ghost lives in me delivers me from destruction can I say that yes. should I say that if I say that I'm walking more perfectly with him verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed he gives you a key to how to have your youth renewed is to have your mouth satisfied or satiated or saturated with good things yes. mm -hmm. is the Word of God a good thing yes. mm -hmm. yeah if you have your mouth listen if your mouth is full of the good things of God your youth will be renewed eternal life in your physical body is youth renewal Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 he that sows to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life so I can sow more or less and reap more or less mm -hmm. if my mouth is gonna be saturated with youth renewal I'm sowing to the spirit more and I'm going to reap more did he promise you here only so much you're the one who gets to choose how much you reap say I'm the one who gets to choose how much I reap it's by how much you sow are you here Holy Ghost thank you for these people I ask you to quicken this word to them that they may know you as the God who renews their youth let their youth begin to be renewed right now and as they worship you and come to know you their life will begin to take a different turn and they'll begin to see things in a new way and begin to act like younger people a whole new lease on life is coming forth says the Spirit of the Lord as you worship him give him glory and praise we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you I thank you that you are a God who prospers me you do things in my finances that no one else can do I am blessed made rich and no sorrow at 
in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.